What has 2009 been like for Auckland Airport? It's been a tough year for aviation generally, but pretty good for Auckland Airport. Our passenger volumes fell only slightly, our returns held up, and we were named a world top 10 airport for the first time. We used the pause period in passenger volume growth to review our strategy and build a new strategy focused on tourism and trade growth for New Zealand and our airport business. The key to growth for Auckland Airport and New Zealand is increasing international passenger volumes and we're driving a range of initiatives designed to achieve this. Uh, some of those initiatives are structured around air services development where we're working closely with our airline partners to get more seats on, on the right routes. But another strong initiative is to look at step out opportunities beyond the bounds of Auckland Airport where we can invest in businesses that might help us with some synergy to drive that growth. You talked about the importance of passenger volumes and air service growth. How are you going to do that? We're making a big investment in business development activity and working with our airline partners uh, on tourism and trade initiatives. And in, to that end, we're really working hard on the Asian opportunity, which we think is the best prospect for New Zealand to leverage the high economic growth in those markets. One of the keys to unlocking that possibility is, is working on air services or connections between the main Asian centres and Auckland. And that means working with airlines and other airports in the region that are strategically aligned with us and located and focused on those markets with the potential to drive synergies with Auckland Airport. Why invest in Cairns Airport? Oh, Cairns is a perfect fit with the strategy. It's the closest Australian East Coast airport to Asia within five to seven flying hours of most of the Asian big cities. And it's got a strong focus on the leisure market with those incredible attractions of the Great Barrier Reef and the tropical rainforests that are so similar to New Zealand's natural beauty tourist attractions. And it's the perfect stepping stone for both airlines and tourists. We're looking to get tourists to take multi-destination holidays and we're trying to encourage airlines who are, who are currently stopping on the eastern seaboard of Australia to cross the ditch to New Zealand. So why will this be good for Auckland and New Zealand? Australia is doing better than New Zealand at driving tourism from Asia and we'd like to leverage that growth. And one particular way we'll be thinking about that is through dual destination marketing. Of the 700,000 visitors to tropical North Queensland today, only 10,000 of them fly onto New Zealand. That sounds like a really big opportunity to me. And as a bonus, I think there's a real prospect that we can increase the tropical North Queensland market share of outbound tourism from New Zealand. So all in all, this acquisition is another string to our bow in getting more tourists to New Zealand and more volume through Auckland Airport. So what role will Auckland Airport play at Cairns and Mackay. We've bought a minority stake, so we'll be a shareholder alongside uh, some really experienced and influential other airport shareholders in Australia. Cairns and Mackay airports are well run airports today, but as the only operator in the ownership structure, we'll be looking to bring our experience to bear and we're sure we can add some value. And we're also pleased that both our new co-investor partners and the management team of Cairns and Mackay Airports is really welcoming of Auckland Airport coming in as a partner and they're looking forward to the opportunity to work with us to drive some of that added value. Simon, does the deal stack up financially? We're confident this will be a great investment and that we'll earn a return well in excess of our cost of capital. Cairns Airport, it's positioned tremendously well to leverage off the growing Asian economies, it's got the Jetstar Strategic Alliance going for it and a raft of government initiatives designed to support tourism growth in tropical North Queensland. Mackay Airport, it's part of the booming mining industry in Australia and that industry's on its way up again already. So all in all, in the context of Auckland Airport, this is a pretty modest investment with good upside and at the end of the day, the downsides are pretty small. So what would you say to those who just don't understand why you're doing this deal? Australia's growing tourism faster than New Zealand and it's connecting better with the high growth Asian markets. We've been off the pace on growth and if we keep doing the same things we've been doing, we're going to keep getting the results we've always been getting. 
So this is a genuine initiative designed to get Auckland and New Zealand better connected with that activity in Australia and Asia to see if we can make a real difference for the airport and for our country. And we're determined to make a success of it.